Oh, hell a beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, I ask that you hit the subscribe button because you come back to rock with your boy. Today's video is one that comes by way of subscriber request. I was recently going through some of my Instagram messages and although it does take me a while to get to them, I do try to get to them, so do not delete them because I will make it there eventually. Um, he asked me, yo B, um, could you break down two fragrances for me? This is the clash of the titans and the juggernauts <laughs> but no man uh, this one is really a comparison between um the legendary fragrance creed aventus and layton from parfum de Mali. two legendary fragrances in their own right but let's get down to big beer business and see how they stack up. Now, honestly speaking, it's been quite some time since I had the opportunity to really go to do a head-to-head -head battle between two fragrances. And traditionally, I do those fragrances when they are, well, within the same realm. But as I think of his comment or question, if you will, of asking me to do this, it really ties back to, you know, these are two fragrances that often are recommended within the fragrance community and they are often recommended for specific reasons so he's trying to figure out which one to grab and to me these fragrances would be recommended for different things let's kind of talk through why you would wear these fragrances and um, the pros and cons so we'll start off here with creed aventus now creed aventus is a fragrance that has grown to have this legendary status within the fragrance world and it's a fragrance that you know within the retail environment people are really actively going out to purchase this one because it's become wildly popular over the years as you know i've had sponsorship with sex down the line and as one of the videos said that this fragrance represents success okay this one is a fragrance that's just really smells good and although a lot of people in fragcom would talk about the decline of creed versus uh how they actually perform um today uh, they would stack it up to how it used to be and there's a number of things that go into that creed uses a lot of natural ingredients therefore some some things stored off there or they could really just be slacking in their mac and i'm not here to make excuses for them but i have a old school bottle here and because of all of these reformulation things um i've kind of held off from purchasing a new one although i do need it now i have a bottle of creed aventus cologne and i know that there's the anniversary edition so if i had to re-up i would probably re-up on the anniversary edition just because it has the black bottle the smell is exactly the same now with this fragrance you're going to get a few things to me this one is a year-round scent but a lot of people opt to wear it for uh spring and summer is this one is this uplifting bright fresh scent some of the notes that are going to stand out here for you are going to be this note of bergamot there's a tie back to pineapple here you got the apple in this fragrance there's some some musk some ambergris all of those notes come together extremely well into something that has been mimicked copied and cloned over and over and over again of people trying to chase down uh, what a successful fragrance has smelled like. It's just like Atlanta rappers all sound in the same <laughs> for the most part because it's a sound that works. And this one here is a fragrance DNA that works. And um, as long as the performance is in line, then you really can't go wrong with it. What I do like about Creed Events is it has a natural feel to it. Um, it has the name recognition there as well. And if you are into fragrances, um, then you know all about it. When someone says they have one Creed, you don't know if they bought it at a discounter or at a uh, store like Saks or Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom, etc. Um, you know that either way, in most cases, they did spend some good money on the scent. Now, let's look across the aisle here and go into this one here, which is 
Leighton. To me, Leighton is used for a different situation. More specifically, for me, Leighton is more of a fall and winter scent, but it's a legendary scent in its own right. This fragrance is recommended over and over and over again simply because, like Creed Aventus, this fragrance works. Look at the distribution. You see? Bow, okay? That thing is monstrous. It comes out with a blast and a vengeance because, well, it's here to show up. Now, like a vintage, you're gonna get some notes that really sound the same, but it comes off completely different in this one. You're gonna get some apple. You're gonna get that mandarin orange, and you're also gonna get some bergamot. And those are some notes that I believe tie back into a vintage that probably would spark the conversation of, hey, which one should I get? As I mentioned, a Ventus is more of a year-round scent. You could do that, but it's specifically tailored, in my opinion, for the spring and summer. Whereas, although this one says some of those same top notes, this one is more for the fall and winter. They really change a lot. Not that they smell anything close. This one has uh, this dense feel to it. It's a uh, hearty it's sweet it's a bit aggressive and i like all of those things within this fragrance this one also has this warming cozy feel to it although it is aggressive it's even aggressive again and it's spray but when you when it when it just lands on you this thing is amazing okay so if again sir if you are watching this video i hope so i'm going to tell you i'm releasing this video this week here um again although the notes are shared in terms of that bergamot you have that apple right and you have that orange and in, in both fragrances uh, this one here totally different approach now what i will say about both fragrances is that they have this sophistication to them where you can really dress them up and feel confident in your choice you can dress them down and feel confident in your choice as well but specifically when you are in an environment where you have to really um dress up stretch your stuff show that you are a sophisticated you have style you have elegance then these fragrances are easy to reach for now although i do not have a recent formulation of creed aventus within my collection i'll give you the general consensus out there at least from what i get from the comments on the channel here all right from a performance factor you're going to do better on performance with Layton. So if you're looking for a fragrance that's going to last, it's going to stand out, it's going to project, it's going to sit it with its chest, then this is one of those fragrances you want to go for. If you're looking for name recognition, you're looking for that great top note, a fragrance that is going to, in my opinion, last for what I have, but I know not everyone is experiencing the same thing, then you may put this one on the back burner. In fact, there are a lot of other fragrances out there for Less than half the price that people would tell you to get over the original Ventus. It's really there for the name recognition, especially when it comes down to the full price point. Now, I enjoy Ventus, and I'm going to purchase another bottle simply because, um, in my opinion, um, the originals, right, are always top tier, right? Uh, it's great to have in the collection so you can compare it. <laughs> right you gotta compare it to other things at least for what i do but for if you're not doing that you could probably get away with um you know a mont blanc explorer a a uh, hachivat hachivat is probably going to be a great alternative if you're looking for a niche fragrance right to not have that same price point but also still have the projection the performance that you're looking for from a fragrance like Aventus, all right? Not that they smell exactly alike. They are reminiscent to each other, um, but different at the same time. Uh, to me, top tier fragrance, fall and winter, rock this thing. It, it's really second to almost none, <laughs> right? Because this thing is quite enjoyable. I enjoy the line uh, all in all, I really do. Uh, I know a lot of people think that Puffin the Marley's paying me or a lot of reviewers out there. I don't get paid by Paul from the Marley, um, and I can't speak for them, but I do not. Um, but here's what I'll say. I really enjoy most of their scents that I have in my collection. Actually, all the fragrances that I have in my collection from them, I enjoy. Those those were standout scents that I got by request or that I've purchased, um, but I have not smelled the entire line. So there's some out there that I know I haven't smelled, so I can't speak on those. But the ones that I do have, um, which are about 15 of them, I love right you can really just visit that house and be done my personal opinion um, there's other companies that you can do that with Killian visit it done bond visit it done 
one tall mansera max up visit it done a lot of one out there that, that you can really do that for and, and really get away with so <clears throat> here you go if you're looking in 2021 which one should you buy i'm going to tell you sir to go with layton right simply because of the feedback that i'm getting from people out there i would tell you to go with layton and get yourself um either a cheap bottle of ventus a decant of ventus or a clone alternative more specifically uh, one of the ones that you could get is hachivat versus aventus i hope this video has helped and provided some clarity on what it is you were looking for do you guys agree or disagree comment down below let's make this a form let's be active let's be involved as always i'm your boy big big beat with the like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the guy Damn.